Yes, everyone, our summer break is finally over. Guys, this is so strange. We haven't been on this on the, on the mics for how long now? It's been a while, yeah. Like eight months. Our summer break just happened to be a summer break in like Antarctica where the summers are <laughs> eight <laughs> months it's long. Almost, <laughs> it's almost springtime now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, I mean, I mean, I I guess there were a few reasons why we took so long to get back. Yeah, um, a lot of things happened in between springtime last year and now. Yes, uh, and for you know the the reintroduction of the Korean Cowboys podcast, kind of want to talk about what we were doing. So, yes. I mean, you know, uh, what's going on? What's the what's the tea? It's coffee, but what's going on? What's been happening in the last eight months since last spring? I what's think- going on with you? Going on with me, I I, I just been working. I'm sure a lot of you guys know I'm I'm an MC on a after school mm-hmm. club mm-hmm. on Arirang TV. Mm-hmm. Plugs, plugs every 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 Tuesdays, you know, uh, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. KST. If you guys mm-hmm. can join in, join mm-hmm. in. But um, I I just been doing that and like just work here and there. I, mm-hmm. I just been chilling, and I think for me, the reason why we took such a long break was, I, honestly, I was kind of burnt out. Kind of. Because we, I mean, a lot. <laughs> I am about to open the floodgates. Yes. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was burnt to a crisp, mm-hmm, honestly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, because we because we did like the first few seasons just straight without a break in the middle. Oh yeah, it was and, like, it was you know, rough, and a lot of it just editing it by ourselves and doing all the, uh, the 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 captions and all that subtitling. It it took a while. It was honestly at times painful for us to do, and yeah. you know, I kind of look at it like when we started, it was like, yeah, let's grab. Grab it by the nuts, you know, like just go all yeah. all day long, you know. Come on, like it was kind of like that, like let's go. Yeah. Um. But you know, as time went on, and and uh, things got very very expensive for both of us to yeah. kind of run this, and then you know the whole team was just started to get busy, and then there would be hiccups, and it was just a a big pain in the butt to handle sometimes. Yep. Um. So you know we held it together as long as we could. Yeah. Um, but at the end, it kind of became like to the point where the subtitles had... It became very tedious. Yeah. It, it, be- it, less, it became least. not even work. It became more like torture, honestly. <laughs> yeah. No, it really did. It was it, At first, it was like, yeah, let's get this. Come on. And then it got, was like, oh, okay, it's work now. And then it became like... You know, waterboarding yeah. pretty much. Because we were pretty much sitting in front of the computers for like mm-hmm. like six, seven hours at a time, just like grinding away, you know? We didn't have social lives. It was, yeah. it was we were completely engulfed. It was pretty bad, but yeah. Um, we're back now. Um, yeah, we are back. And, you know, kind of switch, switch a little thingy up. But uh, yeah, you guys yeah. are gonna see what's going on here soon. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure our yeehaws, our, our viewers are curious. Mm-hmm. What have you been up to? All right. So uh, a lot of things happened last year. Or was it last year? Now, yeah, last year. Yes, that put me in a position where I was so busy that it it would have become impossible for me to do anyway. I held off as yeah, long true. as I could. Um, it started with me in January, going to London to shoot Squid Game: The Challenge. Yes, and at that point, uh, I it, it was already kind of difficult for me to hold on there. And I remember, if you guys don't know, around that time, actually, when I got my phone back after I was eliminated from Squid Game. Uh, was the episode the Chongyun episode? That's when that came out. Oh I yeah, yeah, exactly. I think so yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah. we filmed that beforehand. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then after that, like I had a bunch of other work that I got really busy with. You know, like you know, celebrity <laughs> work. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I get really, I got really busy with that. And then in late spring, I got cast for a TV show, uh, called Wow Sur- Surf Rise, and it was a, a surfing show. Oh, is it surprise? Yeah, surprise. I thought it was wild surprise. Well, okay, so when they say surprise, surprise, I thought it was going to be like... I, like, wow, surprise! It sounded like, you know, the the surprise show on NBC where they have the foreign actors. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, about? yeah. So it was, I, th- I thought it was surprise, like surprise, but it was surf rise. Wow, okay. surf rise. It's like a play on words, but like if you use a yeah. Korean pronunciation. Okay. I didn't know that until I after I already finished shooting. It. But anyway... <laughs> So, like, basically, yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, I was basically shooting every week for several months. And then yeah. in between that, I had to go to the the wave park and practice surfing with my teammates and all that's that true, stuff. Yeah. So it was really, really hard to, to get through it. And like Aaron said, burnt the F out. Like, it was... Yeah, it was pretty bad. Insufferable. Like, yeah. you know... We, we kind of briefly touched on it. I don't know how many of you guys picked up on it. I mean, you know, but starting from season two, we were like, well, what the hell do we do now? Yeah. Because we were just 
you know, like Aaron said, I've rewatched all the episodes, given ourselves the views, you know. But um, it was basically like a jump on of stuff. Aliens. And what else did we do? It was like a hodgepodge of like just like random yeah, that's topics. The word use, hodgepodge. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so it was, we were basically grasping at straws. And, and there was a lot of things back then that either I or Aaron, we, we had ideas on episodes that we could do that right. we never ended up releasing or even shooting because it was too controversial or it was oh such a touchy subject for people. Right, because we're in like the K-pop zone, right? Yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now, and I want I want our PD to put this and only my face on this. I am done holding my tongue. There's so many things that I wanted to say that I was never able to, but you know what? No risk, no reward. Am I right? Yep. So Keep I think it fun, but I'm done pussyfooting around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know? So yeah, we're gonna be a little bit more. Honest and raw. And, I think you know, honest, raw, and like I, I guess more or, organic. Yeah, more than anything. You know what I mean. So for so for behind the scenes, you know, okay, let me get close to the mic here. But behind the scenes, I had always written up these like big long outlines of what we were talking about. So if you didn't notice, first of all, what show were you watching? But also, we were always looking at our phones before. Yep. Do you see a phone? Right now? Well, I, I have mine right here, but... Well, I do too, but uh, we're not using it to look at talking points and all that right. stuff. We're not on rails. This isn't Disneyland, okay? We're in the safari now, all right? Wild, <laughs> baby. So, yeah, we're going to kind of... Man, it's been a while since I've talked like this, but... Yeah, we're, it's basically going to just be raw, uncut, like WWE past 10 p.m. when we were little kids. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, yeah, no more on the rails stuff. It's just, you know, if you look at a lot of other people um, that do podcasts, they just kind of turn it on and go. Yep. So, like, Aaron and I researched a lot of podcasts, and, like, you know, we watch and listen to podcasts in general. Yes. Uh, really famous ones like Bad Friends. Yes, my favorite know? podcast. Yeah, we watch a lot of Bad bad Friend episodes together, and we're kind of like... That's kind of the vibe that, that we kind of wanted to go mm -hmm. with from the beginning anyways. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like like we said, like we are still in, like, the K-pop atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, it was kind of hard for us to kind of open up and mm -hmm. talk more about, you know, things that might be perceived as controversial, but... I think you and I are both like, we just hit the f*** it button. We're That's right. Like, you know what? Let's just do it. Did right. you guys hear that? The f*** it button? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. You know what? If you look at a lot of other people, especially celebrities, they go out and they talk. They especially. do interviews. It, shut up. It's, <laughs> it's very sterile. It's very, <clears throat> you know, clean. And no one listens to that stuff to, yeah. like, have fun listening to that. It's more like you look at them on you know, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, like a lot of podcasts, uh, honestly, yeah. uh, are boring as fuck. Yeah, let's, <laughs> like, be let's be honest. real. Like, like, you know what I mean? Real, like, yeah. you can't, you can't, I think with podcasting, with radio, it's different. With podcasting, yeah. you gotta let loose. It's it's a it's a medium that is so much more free than radio. Right. Because you won't have the FCC, or, or the country's equivalent. So the FCC won't let me be, or let me be me, so let me, is, is that the law? Yeah, the, the Federal Eminem. Communications Commission. Yeah, um, yeah, we won't get you. Don't get fined. You don't get fired because we own the Korean Cowboys. And exactly. No one else. Although, if someone is is interested in buying, we'll listen to your offer. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but um, yeah. So you know what? Screw being clean. I want to get down and dirty with Aaron. What do you think? <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here we are. Um, yeah, so basically, the the clean, correct, politically correct uh, answer that you guys want to hear is that we got really busy. We just really didn't have time for Korean Cowboys. But the real answer is we got real sick of it. Yeah, so basically, that's why we took a break, and that's where we are now. And yeah. um, what for you guys to expect in the future, right? Yes. What do you expect out of the Korean Cowboys now? How are you going to act? Because you know what? I've been like, Aaron, you got to let loose. You got to let loose. I mean, because like, yeah, honestly, when the cameras are off and it's behind the scenes and it's just us, like, let's see, we're at, like drinking or whatever. We're just mm -hmm. talking, like talking shit. Mm -hmm. Like, we're a lot more funny, honestly. Yeah, like, on because, okay, wait. <laughs> rewind to episode one. So remember, we're like, when we came up with the idea for this podcast, right? It was like, we, we would get like totally sloshed. And be yeah. like, eh, you know, people need to hear us talk. We're interesting. This is Aaron. And then... I'd be like, yeah, I think we really are interesting, you know, not slurring my words or anything. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and that's the idea that we wanted, of course. But, of course, there were, there were, like, outlying, like, circumstances and stuff that mm -hmm. kind of, like, 
made us hold our tongues. Mm-hmm. But I think now, like I said, you know, it's just like, <laughs> okay, whatever. We're just going to talk about what we want to talk about. Episodes of the Korean Cowboys that we shot, but we never aired. Quick. The, the one that comes to mind is LGBT. Yeah, one that, the LGBT that one. That we just never released because, mm-hmm. yeah. I it mean, might be a little sensitive. Yeah, we didn't want to, we don't want to like, you know. Step on anyone's step toes. Step on anyone's toes, you know what I mean? And, but I think that sort of sensitive topic, we're going to visit those topics a little bit more this time. Yes. So you guys have that to look forward to. And if you'll notice, not as many cuts this time. Yeah, I, I, I think we're just going to kind of take away all the editing and cuts that we do. Yeah. Just, just keep it like organic. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I remember, I remember watching some episodes and especially as a person that was subbing them. Yeah. Sometimes the cuts had me pulling my damn hair out, you know. Yeah, because like back in the day, like, <laughs> of course, like we kind of, we try to keep it a little PG back in the mm-hmm. day, but it's also like why there were cuts was because we would say something <laughs> that's kind of off the rails mm-hmm. <laughs> that we didn't want to show people. color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, expect that. Yeah. I mean, so like, it's been like, like you said, eight months since mm-hmm. we filmed the Korean Cowboys podcast, like, like. Uh, how have you been? You know what I mean? Just to start off a conversation. I've been busy, but uh, busy doing work that's not celebrity work. I've been doing a lot of voiceover stuff. That's right. Heath. Mm-hmm. Heath. I voiced Heath in Summoner's War Chronicles. Uh, it's a video <laughs> game, a mobile game. And just you not know, commercials and this, that, and the third. But no one wants to hear about that BS, okay? Well, I, I kind of want to hear the voice. Can you just show us once? I don't remember what it was. Uh... Oh no, they're coming or something no, like no, that. No, no, that was the guard. I did that voice too. <laughs> but uh, I did all the voices. I'm the voice of this of the program. Yeah, you know? I, I don't I don't remember what the line was. I remember making fun of you for it though. You, know, you make fun of me for everything. <laughs> I could literally like cure like brain cancer and he would still make fun of me. I mean Am I wrong? You gotta laugh at life sometimes. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that, man. That's a little dark, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> we shot out of a cannon today. Yeah, but I know you've been busy with like a lot of like mm-hmm. voice recording stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what? Like what have you done recently for voice recording? Uh, I did. Um, what have I done? I don't know. It's really not that interesting. A lot of kyoje or like uh, education stuff. Educational stuff. Yeah. But what else did I do? He, he knows better than me. I, he, why are you so obsessed with me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the biggest thing that you did recently uh-huh. was you released a single. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I should know this. I have to perform it next week, actually. Uh, that's right. On the radio. Everyone, tune in. Actually, it's gonna, this is gonna come out after that, so I guess. Yeah. Well, go I'll back. Be, I'll uh, be tuning in. Watch the replay. <laughs> I'm I'll sure be it'll be up on the online. Live. But yeah, I put out a single uh, called "Falling." Right. And it was like it was a cute little thing. I was supposed to release it actually with. The release of Squid Game, but I had a lot of problems with the Yutongsa, which is the distributors. Um, so uh, yeah, you took a while, like yeah, that song it, it took yeah. a long time. I shot the video in, at the Han River, parts of it at the Han River, and it yeah. was cold. And God, you know, if you look at the video, one of my hands is like really awkward, and then one of the other ones is not moving. It's because in my other hand, I was holding my phone to have the <laughs> uh, the instrumental play because um, I couldn't hear anything. So we did it on a budget, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I bought I bought everybody that helped me out on it uh, meat <laughs> that day, like dinner. <laughs> I didn't I mean, even pay. I, I think like 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 for how tight the budget was, I, I think that the end product was very good. Very tight because there was no budget. <laughs> so you know, yeah. But uh, yeah, check it out on all major streaming platforms, including Spotify, Apple Music, and all uh, Korean streaming platforms, and also various ones in like Singapore and China and everywhere else. Yeah, so check it out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. When, when can we expect music from you? Music from me? Uh, that's kind of like a de- like a dilemma for me at the moment mm-hmm. because um, I have been doing a lot of uh, like MC work and I, right. I have also been focused on the comeback of the Korean Cowboys right now. So mm-hmm. I haven't had the time to think about making new music, mm-hmm. but I mean, I, I would love to this year sometime, Okay, you know, like maybe release like a single or two. We miss Aaron Opa and all of his music. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, I, I've been doing, like, music and, like, been performing on stage for so long now. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, maybe it's time for, like, a little summer break from that. Well, you, know you know what, what I mean? though? Aaron is kind of finding his, 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 what do you call it? His place? Niche. Le- no, what? Niche. Yeah. As, like, an, as an MC. Lucrative, for sure. Because I, there I, aren't I, that, I, don't, I don't know about lucrative, Because but there aren't that many people that can do it. I mean, I mean, it's definitely, there aren't that many people that can speak English and Korean fluently. That's right. Like, we can, but... I mean, like, lucrative? I, I wouldn't say lucrative, but... Arirang today, Grammys tomorrow. You never know. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I would love to like host the Grammys or something. That'd be chill. That'd be Aaron's fun. winning at life. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, I mean, um, music, like I said, maybe this year sometime. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I haven't really made any plans for that. Mm -hmm. I do have a, a little fan camp thing that I'm going to be doing Ooh, okay. next month. Mm -hmm. um, I did eat a lot of shit for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw just know I'm not the one that made the prices for that. And obviously, there's a lot of money that goes into it as mm -hmm. well. So hopefully, if you guys can, you know, understand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. Aaron always stay given to the fans. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And let's also, <clears throat> sorry, this is like, stop making it all about you. So, <laughs> the thing, so we're going to talk about our new poster. Can you, do, can you see it? Do you like that, right? Yes. We did that on, you, you thought, you thought this one, or no, no, not this one. You thought that my music video was on a budget. That <laughs> was, how much was that? Like four thousand like, one or something, or six thousand like, one. We spent like a total of twelve dollars or something on it. Yeah. So, so we went to. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure if you guys look at it right now, it's it's called like "Don't Look Up." I think that's like the trend. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's the thing these days. Right. So you like go into like a little booth and like you take a photo, like you look up at the camera. Mm -hmm. And Joel and I went to Songsudong in Korea. Yeah. Uh, we were in full hair and full makeup. hair and makeup <laughs> walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. So after we after we finished, like we ran, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, took these photos for like. You know the, the the new poster because we wanted to uh you know be with the trends and the times yeah. you know I think it's I think it's cute AF I mean I look good you, you honestly you look kind of red though red yeah listen I've been having a lot of allergies lately I don't know what's going <laughs> on like seriously like dead ass but anyway yeah we we, we were like you know what let's make it a because you know what this could be a movie so we made it into like a movie poster you know what I mean yeah mm -hmm. and then uh like the like the post editing obviously or PD that that thank you very much mm -hmm. PD for doing that. Yes. But yeah, uh, I, I I like it. Yeah, I know. It's I, I definitely like, it like a different vibe from like. So you can see the new setup clearly is not the old studio. We've expanded. Yeah. We have a couch now, not some toe up ass chairs. Yes. <laughs> we made a little move into a, like a little, I guess it's a, it's a little cozier, right? This atmosphere. Yeah, this this is like, you know what? We're going to like, you know what? Like I said, everything was on rails before. Hard ass desk, chairs, you know, like everything was like. Puck, yep. puck, 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 puck. <clears throat> Now we got soft, cushiony content for you guys. Yeah, so PD told me not to do this, but if I do this, apparently my feet look huge. Yeah. So you guys can check out my Big huge old feet. You can see all your <laughs> bunions. <laughs> yeah, I think Aaron has the gout. But um, yeah. anyway. <laughs> Let's see your feet. I'm wearing the same socks I wore yesterday <laughs> because I didn't wear them for that long. So I was like, oh, man, I don't want to do laundry. Listen, we grown. We know how bad laundry can get. And I'm Nasty like, you know what? I ain't trying to do all that. Nasty so I was bro. like, I'm just going to wear it again. Uh, I didn't think my feet were gonna come out. Are, do my feet come out? Pity, do my feet come out? Shake yes or no? Pull, pull my hairy my my pants. Pull your over pants my legs. down, bro. They're a little too high. What'd you say? Pull my pants. Calm down. down calm uh -uh. down. This isn't OnlyFans. You better calm <laughs> down. That cost you extra. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that's would what you we're would doing. you ever do an OnlyFans? Hell no. <laughs> well, really? Would I ever do Only? Depends. What do I gotta do? I mean, like, so, like, what people... You mean, like, you know, triple X rated? Or you mean, like, you know, if I was really fit and I was, like, a hunk? And, like, you know, take off my shirt and stuff? Maybe. I don't know, because there's like, some people like, that do okay, that. Okay, like, the, a lot of the content on OnlyFans is sexual, right? Honestly. Yeah, yeah it is. And, like, they, they do make... That's lucrative from what I've heard mm -hmm. of OnlyFans. Let's say you're getting paid a million dollars a month. To be on OnlyFans? To, like, make, In an like, X-rated kind of way? Yes, like, explicit videos of yourself. A million dollars a month? A month? Yeah. No. It's gotta really? Be, it's got to be more than that. Okay, two mil. No, I'm talking like seven. No, no, not even seven. Like 10 mil a 10 month? 10 digits. I need 10 digits. Jesus. Actually, dead ass, I would never do that, honestly. Yeah, honestly. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it either. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, maybe, I would like maybe take off my shirt. But that's Woo! it. <laughs> Please. Although I've been working he, out. You have been sending me some uh, like, like workout. Like after you work out, you're like, hey, bro, look, I'm getting buff. And they're like, <laughs> I, I sent Aaron a shirtless picture. I was like, look at me. I, I used to be skinny as a minnow, right? But I have been working out, beefing up. I mean, you're, you, you're, you, you are getting beefy. Hun it might not look like it. but You um, are getting there. I, I will say there. yes. When are you going to start? You keep saying you're going to start at the gym, but you're like, oh, maybe, maybe next month, next month. It's been like a year since he started or hasn't yeah. started. Maybe soon, maybe soon. Maybe yeah. soon. Soon. Maybe. He, maybe. Keyword, maybe. Yeah. I, I have to be driven to do something. Mm -hmm. And, like, honestly, like, I'm living life perfectly fine. I'm not, like, super unhealthy or anything at the moment. So it's like, do I need to really work out? But then it's also... I think... Uh, okay, listen. Just knowing you and being your friend for all these years or whatever. Because I'm strong. I think you are strong. 
But we, we had a we had, we actually had a wrestling match no, a we few got weeks drunk ago. And wrestled. We wrestled and uh, you know I had to throw. There him was around. oil involved. No, there was not. <laughs> but uh, no. you know I had to toss him around a little bit, show him what's up. No, so that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> uh, Aaron, I think you need to live less sedentary of a lifestyle. Honestly, you live a. Vi- that's true. I've never yeah. seen someone I that am a is as sedentary as you. Yeah. No, no, no. Like I live like, under a rock, pretty much. No, no. You, you don't leave your house. I ever. hate leaving the house. What do you mean? You leave your house to go drink. That's not leaving the house or to work. <laughs> or I go it. to go work and to go drink. What, why or else to go to I the leave? mart to buy the alcohol. You're going to drink. Why else would I leave the house? There's no reason for me to okay, leave the house. So that's the thing. I recently bought a car, you know, for my first time in Korea. And I Aye. find myself <clears throat> having to force myself to at least go on a walk. You know what I mean? Air does wonders. You need the vitamin D. You need like the sunlight. You need all that stuff. But Aaron's in his cave. Doesn't move. Orders Taco Bell and or McDonald's or Loteria. So like, and that's all you eat. Aaron's like, what should I have today for breakfast or for lunch? Should I have tacos or should I have a big Nope. That was me. I would say maybe two months ago, maybe a month ago. Oh, actually. BS. Right now I've been on like a, like a huge, like strict diet, not diet, but I've been like just buying panchan, like side dishes from like, you know, place I sell side dishes and I've been eating the rice at home every day. I, I have limited myself to three times a week to order food. Which Hold I think up. is very good because I was ordering like three times a day. Yeah. So, um, yeah. First of all, that's expensive. Also, when Aaron says he eats cheap up or like food at home with the banchan and all that, yep. he sent me a picture. He's like, look at that spread. And I'm like, I see some banchan in there. There's some green. You're doing better. You're doing better. But, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. You're doing better. But I will say, he's like, look at the spread. Got some, you know, spinach, some kimchi, whatever. Yes. Thick ass pieces of fried spam and fucking fried eggs and like everything's fried, man. I'm like, I'm like, man, can't you like boil? I mean, some what eggs do you mean? Some egg just, salad or something? Just spam. Like, what do you mean? Mm-mm. You gotta watch your cholesterol, homeboy, because I don't know. My cholesterol's all messed up. <laughs> I might. I might. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of cholesterol and um, <laughs> being full of it, we are filled with love right now because it is the second anniversary of the korean cowboys podcast yay hey. although we took a long ass break but yes we took like a one-year break but we're back yeah, we're back you know what so technically <laughs> it's like one year and in, in two months or whatever but you know still uh thank you for everybody that has supported us so far and everybody that uh will continue to support us and we hope that a lot of people show interest in our newly reformed unedited uh not unedited but like you know a little bit more free free form content yes. In the Korean. Wow, Google's I can't believe it's already been two years. That's I know. crazy. Some key moments. Some key moments. Oh, I just got an idea. Let's take a look at some key moments from the Korean Cowboys podcast. Hit it, PD. Insert montage. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know if our PD is going to do it or not, but we'll see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, like, over like the last two years, like we've had like very good talks. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, some of the episodes were kind of like, like you said, like we were pulling and grasping at straws. Mm-hmm. We've had a lot of good guests on the show mm-hmm. that I would love to like have back on the podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I like, have to go back and approach it. Also, we have to we have to let people know the guests that did come out on our podcast. We pulled favors for our friends. Yes, we did not pay did not any pay of our them. guests a single dime. So thank you to all of our mm-hmm. guests who came out on the past. And if you guys are willing to come out again on our podcast for free, mm-hmm. <laughs> we would uh, really appreciate it. Listen, the check's not long enough to be paying nobody. We don't even pay ourselves. In fact, I am in the hole right now. Let yep. me tell you. But um, also, we kind of wanted to, in changing up the podcast, we decided that we wanted to go for comfortable long-form content and felt the necessity to get rid of subs to get rid of subs it's unfortunate but it's just not doable long form yeah because the thing is like like we mentioned earlier it's we were just really burnt out and i think a lot of it was the subtitles and the mm-hmm. and like translating it and you know putting it on the video that just took so many hours and so much manpower it's not doable with our team it's just yeah because it's the three of us you know like yeah. and and it's not like we're just resting all the time you know mm-hmm. i have work i have to do you have work you have to do the pd has work that they need to do mm-hmm you know, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of the people that are watching are going to be like, why aren't there any subs? Like, you don't care about us. That's, that, that's not the case. It's just, it's just too much work for us yeah. at the moment. It's, and the thing is like, yeah. we're, we're going for, we're striving for longevity at this point. Mm-hmm. We, we don't want to just go for like another three, six months and then take like another six month break, yeah. you know? And that's the thing. It's another thing that <clears> when we were talking, even though we were funny or entertaining or whatever, it was kind of like. In the back of my head, I knew that I would have to sub this video later, and I was like, "God damn, this sucks!" Like, yeah. I would purposely hold back on saying things, like 
in, in with the fear that it would go off on in this wild tangent that would bring the episode out 10 minutes longer and 10 minutes takes forever on subs. So yep. don't get it twisted. It's not that we don't want to. Maybe when the check gets longer. Maybe when we do start getting paid for the podcast yeah. and then, you know, if we if we have time to hire actual, you know, staff mm-hmm. to like, you know, like handle the editing part of it, mm-hmm. then maybe. Yeah. But also I think like the people that are watching on YouTube right now, I'm sure like the YouTube... YouTube has like automated subs, I think, but it takes a little longer mm. for them to be automated, but they do come out on the subs. Mm-hmm. So, and um, for, you know, honestly, we're doing it in English. And for those of you guys that um, want to learn English, this is a perfect <laughs> opportunity. Yes. Although we speak really, really fast and we're not very. Uh, and we also have like a lot of our listeners who who do participate in like the subbing yeah. and stuff as well. So thank you guys very yeah, thank much. Thank you guys for that. It's, um, it's really helpful to yes. kind of expand our horizons with other audiences. Yes. If you guys want to continue doing that, of course, we would love to help. Mm-hmm. You know, if not, um, it's okay. We understand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we're basically going to show you the next part in the new format of our show. So take it away. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> take it away. Here we go. All right. So part of the big changes that we put on our podcast this time, uh, because we don't want to seem like a bunch of old farts, so we want to be a little bit more uh, trendy and, you know, that sort of thing. So... I pulled out viral posts for Aaron to react to. I know what tickles his fancy and what tickles his buttons. So I kind of (laughs) created these things. And, you know, these days everyone's on, you know, before bed, everyone should be in sleep. But they're up to like three or four in the morning scrolling through reels or on Facebook or whatever. Um, So, yeah, Uh, I brought with me and I will in the future my laptop in which I will show Aaron some you know viral posts things like that so aaron yeah i i, I think like this week it'll be you and then like maybe in the future like i'll do oh, yeah, it as yeah, well, we can, yeah we'll, we'll go we'll, back and forth but yeah, we'll ping pong it but yes know. i have not seen any of these posts or clips mm-hmm. i have no idea what the hell he brought mm-hmm. so i mean bring it let's see all it. right so what, what i'm gonna read this <clears throat> this one's not a video but i'm gonna read this <clears throat> okay i want your genuine uh reaction so by the way don't say anything until i'm done because there's more than one thing i gotta read okay, okay ready go ahead all right so <clears throat> this is an instagram dm sent from a person to a business mm-hmm. okay so this is the person sending this hey sorry i know it's short notice but i'm in manchester tomorrow and looking for somewhere to brunch with my partner would you be open for a collab with me for a post on my story and page don't say anything This is the response from the business. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, you got us. uh, Wait a minute. Uh, No, actually. We're not going to edit this out. (laughs) Keep it in. Oh, damn it. Okay, I did this wrong. But you know what? It was a work in progress. Anyway, so this is, uh, so this particular business, this restaurant, right, in Manchester, posted this uh, on their Instagram saying some real funny stuff. So the person, the influencer in question, responds like this personally i think you're bang out of order how dare you try to expose us like that so you think people like us don't deserve to eat for in all caps free uh just in case you didn't realize we are doing our best to help and promote you for free that's like five e's uh we don't expect much just a free meal to compensate our time labor effort and positive energy that we are supplying you the fact that you want to expose us influencers like that look at him he's steaming in the ears uh we will not be coming by anytime soon to support your food looks good and we heard it's a great busy vibe hence trying to go and support you but your arrogance makes me sick ha 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 very funny you got a couple of giggles but we're but we're the ones who's laughing we go where we want eat what we want and lastly it's all free who's laughing now laughing emoji aaron what do you think what a- <laughs> yes, <laughs> like seriously. honestly mm-hmm. go off go off go off King. like shit like that shit like that makes me <laughs> so mad mm-hmm. dude like it's who are you like why do you think you deserve a free meal like you know what i mean like who, like you're not god you know what i mean you're a customer just like anyone else just because a comp- just because like a, like a business or like a restaurant doesn't want to give you a free meal, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like you can't bitch about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not everyone's gonna understand that you're an influencer, and you know what I mean? Like honestly, I have my whole opinion about influencers, it, just in general. But I mean, in that particular situation, I think that influencer is an asshole, and and they, and they're very entitled, in my opinion. Very. Uh, <laughs> listen, I'm so gonna, arrogant. You know what I mean? You know, we're gonna age ourselves a little here, right? But uh, definitely inappropriate. And I think influencers, 
I think there's a, there's different types of influencers, right? There's right. people, you know, that that people like brands will call influencers people that specialize in like you know making content videos for like makeup or right. you know whatever. That stuff's okay. Um, oh, of course. But Let the thing me is, also, like, oh, it's just ahead. like if you're so arrogant, like where it's like you think you deserve a free meal, like you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like who are you, dude? You know yeah. what I mean? Well, this is a kicker. This particular influencer has a blue check, which, by the way, you can buy now. So anybody can have a blue check on Instagram. Right. It doesn't automatically make you an Instagram influencer. influencer right. Now, if you get it organically and for free, like me <laughs> and yeah. Aaron, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, no, I would never do that. But um, so basically, let me tell you. This influencer, 36,000 followers. That's it. And they're expecting a free meal from a restaurant. What exposure? I'm not sure. You know, not saying that you should do this with no matter what amount of followers you have. Right. But, you know, uh, you know, if you're if you pull up with like 1.2 million or something like that. I mean, whether it be like 36,000 no, or like 360 million, mm-hmm. like whatever it is, like. You're still entering a business, you know what I mean? No, I know. You should never, ever, ever, ever request that. Now, if a business approaches you, that's different. That's different, right. But this is, you're contacting a business with your 30K followers, and you're like, oh, like, I'm going to give you exposure. You probably bought some of those followers, you know. Um, yeah, totally ridiculous. And then, you know, the the... The place is called Luckin, uh, Lucky, Lucky, Lucky Ramen and Sushi. So you know, we Lucky well Ramen and Sushi. Them, where, where, know. where is it? Uh, Manchester. Manchester. If you guys are in Manchester, go check out Lucky Ramen and Lucky, Sushi. Lucky Ramen and Sushi. That does sound good, though. I'm kinda that hungry. does sound kind of good. Yeah, sushi does sound really good. Yeah. Right um. Now. Basically, they went and just shit it all over this Instagram or this Instagram influencer what, what, publicly what, on their post. It was what, what a total dick. Yeah. You want to? Let me read the message from Lucky Ramen and Sushi because this is funny. Okay. All right. You got us. We're truly sorry for attempting to uncover your behind the scenes tactic yesterday, and you know us trying to make a living in shit <laughs> swipe right to revisit yesterday's expose drama but hold on the new message we just got deserves more than a standing ovation this follow-up dm that's the one i just read is a total game changer and guess what we're now rolling out the red carpet for all the free meals you desire that's not all our chefs are ready to part ways with their crocs and birkenstocks throwing <laughs> them in as an extra bonus for your tender love and labor even my dad's medal of honor from japan war is going up for grabs <laughs> He's uh, feeling generous, the old geezer, and he's even contemplating wheeling in his new eco-friendly hybrid wheelchair just for you. Uh, just hit us up with another DM. Let us know when you're swinging by to collect your well-deserved goodies, and don't forget to leave a glowing five-star review on both Google and TripAdvisor. We appreciate your understanding, and once again, sorry for the inconvenience we caused. Bon appetit plus arigato the fuck out of here. God, <laughs> Team I, I... Lucky. Uh, and in parentheses, uninfluencer plus no blue tick. Dude, I, I, I love the way that restaurant responded to that person. Mm-hmm. What now, a total ass. But you know what? Yeah, definitely. I think people need to get a reality check a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so that's the thing. A lot. I was reading the comments on this post, and I was like, it was really actually 50-50. Was it really? The, re- the responses. Not because they were in favor <laughs> of the influencer and the BS that they were pulling, but because they felt that the business could have handled it a little better. Oh, uh, because they publicly shamed this person, Yeah, they right? publicly shamed this person. Now, okay. If I it mean, was you, what would you do? I would honestly probably do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, you know what That's I mean? Right. Like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. You don't poke the bear and just, like, not expect it to do anything. You, you know, know I'm, re- I'm really sad that they, they whited out the influencer's name. I really wanted to see what do. Yeah, like, yeah. I honestly did. Um, but I also extremely petty when I want to be. And if I'm running a business <clears> and I got, you know, quotas to meet and that sort of thing, rent to pay and stuff like that. Like I would probably do the same thing. Of course. Mm-hmm. Like if, if, if the, if the influencer was like, Hey, like, you know what? Like I want, like if, can you guys maybe provide us with a free meal? Like, you know, like we'll give you like free exposure, blah, blah, blah. And the restaurant, they said, no, mm-hmm. if the influencer was like, okay, like, you know, thank you for taking the time for the DM. Like, uh, like maybe I'll just visit your restaurant later on. Like, you know, mm-hmm. without any of like, you know, the business aspect of it. Right. Mm-hmm. But the way that the influencer responded to that set, the first DM that the restaurant sent kind of shows me like this person's super arrogant they're super cocky yeah. no like, no no definitely and i think and I, I i think the way that the restaurant handled it is two thumbs up for me for me is personally. it petty it's hella Absolutely. petty but hella, hella yeah. petty but uh i would probably do the same thing yeah <laughs> i wouldn't have even whited out the instagrammer's name oh and i also need to point out that in the comments a lot of other restaurants in that particular area also left a comment saying this person also sent 
us a message. So they're like notorious. They things. just want free food. Yeah. You know, pretty much for, you know, a food, food, what do you call it? Foodstagram or whatever. Yeah. That kind of stuff. So yeah, get a job. That's a real job. Yes. Listen, if you, if you're an influencer and you can make a living off of it, more power to you. But if you have to go around and beg restaurants for food. Yeah, and then get mad when they don't comply with yeah. you. Like, come That's on. That's what I'm saying. Work at McDonald's. You get the minimum wage and you get free food. You can eat you know all the I mean? fries. Hey, McDonald's, Mickey D's fries mm-hmm. are really good. So. Listen, just cycle through their menu. You get the Big Mac and yep. then you get the... the Long chicken sandwich. No, that's Burger King. Uh, you know, crispy chicken sandwich, whatever. You cycle through that, you'll live. Yep. Stop playing. Yep. These, yeah, so yeah, y'all need to stop playing. Yeah, yeah, some, some of y'all them. influencers. Mm-hmm. Not all of you guys. No, no. A lot of you guys are nice. You know, if you if you approach it right, you know, I'm not I'm not shaming all influencers. Right. Not of course at all. Not. Um, but you know, some people can like genuinely turn it into a career with fruitful, you know, results. Yes. You know, and it, and it does it does like for example. Makeup tutorials or makeup review, whatever. Right, of course. You know, if you're doing that <clears throat> and you're providing a service to some degree, right? Uh, then you're informing people about makeup or, you know, what's good, you know, what maybe isn't so good, that sort of thing. Cool. Then you're doing something. Yep. You know what I mean? You're using expertise that you have uh, formulated. Like, if you want respect, you got to give respect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a two-way street. You know, you can't just yep. automatically demand it. So, Instagram influencer, shame on you. Yes. Uh, that's awful. And hopefully you learned your lesson and you don't pull this bullshit anymore. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> what is that? All right, so what's the next viral All right, so the next clip one, or post that you have prepared All right, so for me? this one is a video, and I am going to show you this. Okay, it's uh, a video. Yeah, hold on. All right, here's the video. I'm going to have you watch this. I don't <clears throat> tolerate bullying. All right, let's see it. You hold it. Now read it where she can hear you. You can hear me on the hot pot, that's your friend. Hey, speak up. For spraying for a I ain't laughing at you. Bullying should not be tolerated by any means necessary. I don't have nothing against you, and I hope you can forgive me and accept my apologies. If not, I, I truly understand. Just want to let you know your cool talent and cool and talented. Now, what I know what I did was not was not cool nor funny, but I hope you can forgive me and it won't happen again. Thank you. Can you forgive him? Uh, Careful. Thank you. Sure. What you got? Really? That's why you pull it out. Got you a good pair, huh? Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming the guy that's filming it is the guy's father. Yes. I would assume. So the backstory behind this is that the girl is, I believe, visually impaired. This okay. boy on the school bus uh, was, you know, tormenting this poor girl. Like harassing her. Okay. Harassing her. Like you know, her simply wrist. because she is, you know, she visually can't see impaired. Well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, bullying. I, the reason I like this video is because I think what the father did, mm-hmm. it's going to stick with that kid for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? I, yeah. He's teaching him a lesson. Mm-hmm. And I think, I, I can't speak for like the kids nowadays, but like just from like the general like atmosphere and like feeling that I get from like kids nowadays, I don't mm-hmm. feel like parents discipline their kids as much as they well, should. You can't now because I mean, yeah. Listen, okay, let me let, let me break it down for you. Obviously, I'm, I'm I'm not saying beat your kids or whatever, but the thing no, is, no, no, yeah, you do need to discipline your kids. Like you know, you need to make your kids into like good, you know, like people. Citizens. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Good citizens. That's your job as a parent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I feel like that father. Is doing a very good job. If I had a son or a daughter and they ever were caught bullying someone, I'd probably do the same thing. Right. So let me ask you this. When you were a kid, I'm not saying you bullied anybody, but if you ever got disciplined, Mm -hmm. uh, or no, have you ever been bullied? How about that? I think so. You've been bullied? I think so, yeah. Okay. Like maybe like middle school. What did you do? Or what, like, what, how did you handle the situation? Be honest. I mean, honestly, we were kids. I like, we were kids. I like like fist fights, like here and there, like stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, like mm-hmm. that's happened before. But okay, so that's the thing. 
when I was a kid, I used to get teased or picked on before. And I remember I told my dad, and you know, uh, listen, we're old school. You know, we come from a different generation than the kids now. Yeah. So my dad, basically what he said was handle it. That's what my dad told me to do. Yep. Handle yours. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So, you know, I know that now, like, you know, fighting on school property. Of and course, stuff like, like you that, never you're not supposed fight. to do that. But, but my dad was like, like make it, make him stop, do what you need to do. You know what I mean? Right. Without, you know, severely injuring anybody, you know, that sort of thing. Right. And, you know, it was kind of like, it's the old school way. Yeah. It's make kind it of like, so they leave you alone. Like, like stand up for yourself. Yeah. Stand up for yourself. Be a man, you know, like that's right. kind of like what they told me to do. And, uh, and I did what I needed to do. I know you can't imagine, but <laughs> I handled mine, you know, um, your kids. Right. Spank? No spank. Probably spank. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, yeah, like nowadays, like, and not like people like might not agree with it so much, mm -hmm. but just a generation that you and I were raised in, it's like you did something wrong, you get a slap on the wrist. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. now we're not saying no, we're not going like obviously we're not gonna, like we're not we're not all pulling Bruce all the, Lee on them, you like know, our like belts, and you know we're not whipping them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but like a little like slap on the wrist or like what I used to do when I used to get in trouble in um like like elementary and middle school was I'd get a dictionary and I'd hold it over my head, staring Korean. at the corner of the wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. Like, stuff like that does, I feel like, does change your character, and it does build character at the mm -hmm. same time. That's why I think uh, our generation's probably a little bit better disciplined than uh, kids that probably didn't or don't have that now, Yes, I think. Uh, and like I said, it's a, it's a generational thing. Um, me, you know the shoehorns? Oh, the yeah, long yeah, yeah. shoehorns? I didn't even get the belt. I got the shoehorn, and shoe that horn. hurt. Yep. I was wailing. Me and my brother were wailing when we got hit by that. And then later on, my dad got this big flat piece of wood that said the bloody stick on it. And it had like <laughs> blood painted on it. Yeah, that, there was another one that was like that. And then when we cursed Tabasco on the tongue, that was when we were young. Oh, yeah. Uh, on a Q-tip and then blah, 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 blah. And then we would go nuts. Although now, I think it kind of made me like <laughs> like it. Like Tabasco? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So like I said, no, uh, don't condone bullying. I think the way that ha this father handled it perfectly. I would do the exact same thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, because like, like, like you said, like, especially nowadays, like, I, disciplining your kids is like it's like a very touchy subject, right? Yeah. But I think you need some discipline. Of course. You know, you can't just let your kids roam yeah, free and let them do what they want. That's yeah. the thing. Now is like, I. Do you know how stupid I was as a kid? I'm sure like you were the same. Like thinking oh, I can about imagine, it now, honestly, like, Jesus, like. <laughs> So that's the thing. A the lot stuff of stuff I was doing as a kid was like not good. You know what I mean? Because the people that are becoming parents now, uh, this is going to sound really cliche, but I think parents now want to be friends with their kids instead of parents for their kids. Right. They want validation. I've seen this a lot. A lot of people I know that have <clears> kids <throat> do this. And uh, I'm like, you know, at some point you got to be a parent and not a friend. Right. It's not always going to be roses and blossoms. It's going to be, you know, right. some, some, there's got to be discipline. Otherwise you're going to raise a, Generation of degenerates. So, you know. Yes. Disciplinary action is, mm -hmm. I feel, very needed and warranted at times. Yeah. That's absolutely. how I feel about it. The yeah. way that dad handled I, I love it. Yeah. He was respectful. No, there wasn't like, you know, anything crazy. He went, he explained. And, you know, maybe the kid was embarrassed because I'm sure his friends saw that and they were like, ha, Right, ha, but that's going to stick with him and yeah, he's exactly. going to know not to do that he's again. He's going to remember and he's not going to do it again because he doesn't want to have to do that again. And also the, the girl seems really sweet, really lovely. Like, how could you pick on someone that, you know... You yeah, know, not completely able-bodied, you know. And why would you do that? Although everyone was a kid at some point, and maybe if they think it makes you look cool or something. Um, but no, that's not the way. So if anybody out there is an uh, elementary school kid or a middle school kid, don't do that. Don't yeah, tease don't, anybody. Just don't everybody, everybody love yeah. each other, man. I mean, we know middle school and high school can be hell. But love and peace, bro. Yeah. <laughs> love, and peace. love and peace. Love and peace. Yeah. Anyways, you have one more video or? No, no more videos. Okay, so just what we got okay. now. Uh, we're going to spin it to the last little section of our Korean Cowboys revamp. Yes. Let's Let go. us know what the last segment is for today. Okay. This is Joel with KCB News. Thong-wearing protesters bear their bums in opposition for calls of a G-string ban. According to a report by Sky News, protesters rallied against remarks made by Ian Grace, a former Gold Coast Volunteer of the Year Award winner, who said women and girls who wear G-strings are cheapening themselves. The demonstration named Free the Peach began at Karawa Beach. Dozens of locals wore their skimpiest swimwear as they fought for their right to wear what they want on the beach. A bikini blanket ban was never going to be the solution. Never. Not on the Gold Coast, said the owner of a local swimwear brand. 
What do you think? Okay, so hold on. So so there was like a ban on like, like So basically G strings and thongs. Yeah, so uh and the protest protest that. Yeah, people are protesting basically. Uh wearing skimpy outfits at the beach. That aptly why they called it uh the demonstration is called free the peach, you know, peach yeah, 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 the yeah. butt, you know. What do you think? <sighs> thongs at the beach, yay nay. <laughs> I mean, if 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 it's your body, I mean, go ahead. You know what I mean? Like, you can wear whatever you want as long as you're not butt ass naked. I think it's okay. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, I, it also depends like on like where where you're going. Like, let's say there's like a fair or something, and you know, there's gonna be like, a lot of little kids there. Mm-hmm. Then maybe like wearing a thong out in public like may not be like the right choice of outfit. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, I think it really kind of goes to splitting what is too much and what is too little. You know what I mean? Right. So I like, mean, but the thing is, like, what I could perceive as, like, oh, that's, like, a little, like, too revealing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just an opinion, right? Right. It, I, I can't stop the person from wearing, you know, whatever they want to yeah, wear. Yeah, I mean, I think, okay, as long as, how do I say this? <laughs> as long as things are not, you know, out there. Exactly. You know what I mean? I think it, it should be allowed. As yeah. long as the sensitive areas of someone's body are covered, and and who who's who's trying to ban ban like this like swimwear? Uh, basically, it was someone someone from that area that's kind of like a volunteer, you know, a very Karen move. Okay, well, I'm assuming this person was a female because yes, if it's free the peach, you mm-hmm. know, the males are probably gonna ride with you. Free yeah, the so peach. Basically, yes. saying, like, that basically, there's the you know she was saying like oh you know, uh, the guys are gonna look at you and think that you have no respect for yourself. Because you want to dress like that at the beach. I, I stand at the point where as long as certain parts of the body are covered. Right. You know, so that it does not constitute legal uh, nudity. Exactly. It should be allowed and no one should have a say at anything. As long as your private parts are covered, yes. like you said. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I don't see an issue with that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, this makes you thing. wonder, the person that tried to like put this ban out. Mm-hmm. I wonder what she looks like. I mean, because <laughs> I, I like honestly, like I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a jealousy type of like move that like it could be. You know what I mean? It could be because I feel like a lot of things like this are like jealousy driven mm-hmm. because it is about physical appearance, right? Yeah, and I mean it could be that, or I think it's also could be a lot of really conservative values that right older True. generations might have. Uh, but you know, as with everything, I think you know the world changes. Of course, you know, and th- people listen. People in like the twenties. You show an ankle and you're a hoe. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, honestly, people used to think that. Um, now, it's, you know, you basically, anything less than nipple pasties and you're, you know, <clears throat> you're clothed pretty much. So, I mean, have you ever seen, like, the red carpet for award shows? Like, god damn. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think it's, listen. As long it's as, the beach. Yeah, it's the beach, man. It's hot. It's sunny. Everybody wants tans. Like, you know, like just leave them alone. Like, you know, if you don't like it, don't go. If exactly. You, if you don't want your kids exposed to skin, then don't go to the beach because you can't control everybody. It's that's easier true. just to not go. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically where I stand on that. Um, yeah, so we're going to move on to the second article, okay? Yes. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Here, I'm Let's see the, what you have. I'll put on the voice again. <clears throat> the, the voice again. Once popular Korean actors are being publicly vocal about not being able to get roles in an industry in a slump, the Korean broadcasting industry is currently experiencing a slump in the drama, uh, movie, and variety show production. Overseas OTT platforms such as Netflix and Disney+, Plus, as well as pre-produced content, have caused a tear in the K-entertainment ecosystem. With productions in a massive decline, as well as difficulty finding broadcasting slots, actors such as Lee Jang-woo, Kim ji Seok, and Han ye Seo have publicly expressed anxiety over the issue, also expressing the necessity for other forms of income. It remains unclear how or when this shift will correct itself, but we are hoping for more work for everyone soon. Now, I don't know if you know, but I know very well that this is a huge problem right now. Yes, it, it's it, bad. It's, I actually heard from a... An actor, a friend of mine recently, mm-hmm. we, were, we were just drinking and talking and he said something about, he's mentioned this like last year as well, but he says there's so many f- already filmed projects mm-hmm. in line to be released. Mm-hmm. He said for like the next like two, three years, like there's going to be like no work because yep. everyone's already like, everything's already in post-production now. Everything's already been produced. Mm-hmm. It's already been shot. Mm-hmm. 
And so he was telling me that a lot of actors and actresses are having hard times finding like new roles, mm-hmm. like new uh new, new new dramas and movies to film. So yeah. Uh, I mean I don't know cuz that's like a, that's like that's like a tough issue, right? See, I See, like, it, this, this both, also came with like the boom of like the OTT like platforms, yeah. right? So we both we both are in the entertainment industry, right? And I'm less of an actor, more of a you know pung swing, you know, like a person that does like variety shows and right. stuff like that. Uh, I didn't think that it would hit variety shows as well, but it has, and in a real way. I haven't really actually shot any variety shows in quite a while because the OTT thing has really, really set back. Uh, production right there's so many different avenues for producing now that every independent uh, production company has started creating all these things but no one there's not enough slots to put them on there's only so many hours in a day right especially if it's on a cable network yeah uh, or if it's you know on like tv tv not netflix or disney plus or whatever and the problem is is that there's only so many slots and there's all these shows, like you said, that are backed up. I haven't worked on a variety show or anything like that in a, since the surfing one, which was in the summer, which is very unusual. Wild Surf Rise. Yeah, Wild Surf Rise. Um, and even that, it was very difficult to get spots right. on TV. Uh, Man. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I think what it is is like, you know, a lot of the, the production companies, like Netflix or Disney+, Plus, they don't typically like to purchase unaired content from other companies more than they like to produce their own Netflix and Disney plus and Paramount plus originals because then they can control how it's created. So then you have all this stuff. And if it's not one of those, then it's nothing because the other shows don't come out on TV and that's for dramas and movies too. Um, So yeah, it's in a big slump. I honestly don't know how they are going to be able to fix it to be completely honest. Yeah. I think the only way that I can think of like just correcting it in general would Mm -hmm. just be, don't film anything new for now. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be rough mm-hmm. for like a lot of actors and actresses. But don't film anything right now, and then wait until everything that's backed up comes out. Yeah, or like a lot toward, of that towards like the end of that start won't ever production. even come out. It'll exactly. get shelved. You know, like a lot of shows that are coming out this year, twenty twenty four. Like they were like fil- filmed like early twenty twenty two or like yeah. late twenty twenty one. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's it's tough. Yeah, I, I heard I heard that a, a lot of uh, actors are having it rough out there right now. Yeah. uh... It's bad. Even some of the top actors, they they are told their managers, I'm willing to take any role, anything. People that would be the main in, you know, if it was a couple years ago, yep. they'll take anything. Because, you know, we got to eat out here. You know what I mean? Like That's true. You know, luckily, some actors and actresses, you know, they have different work that they can do, you know. Just um, like, yeah, the rise of, like, the OTT platforms has definitely, like, caused... Yeah. And it's completely unmoderated in Korea, which is actually a big, a big source of discussion these days. Is like there, there needs to be some sort of, sort of like like committee or something yeah. like like someone to moderate. Like but because they're the international flow. brands, it's not you can't manage it because it doesn't go across. It's a paid service for one. It's like HBO. Like they can yeah. air you know whatever they want, when they whatever want. they want, whenever they want because it's yeah. a paid service. What are you going to do? You know, and you know you can't block it straight up out the country because it's such a huge money maker. <clears throat> yep. You know, so yeah. I mean, we hope. For our sakes and for all of our colleagues and contemporaries in this industry, that yep, it does everyone. figure out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, how they're fighting, 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 fighting. Now for the last story, Aaron. I know you're gonna love this one. Let's hear it. <clears throat> all right, so here we go. <laughs> Mike Tyson set to fight Jake Paul in oh, boxing match God. at AT&T Stadium in July, according to Yahoo Sports News. Former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson and social media influencer slash boxer Jake Paul will face off in a match on July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, as part of a main event card airing on Netflix. Paul 27 has 10 professional bouts to his name with a nine to one record, which includes six knockouts. Tyson, who will turn 58 in July, won 50 total fights in his career with 44 coming via knockout and was the youngest heavyweight champion ever at 20 years old. Tyson's last professional fight came in 2005 when he threw in the towel ahead of the seventh round against Jake Mc, or Kevin McBride. I'm sorry. The cat, the match came nearly a year after he suffered a four round knockout by Danny Williams. All right. Iron Mike coming back. Yay. Nay. What's going on? I'm, t- I'm totally nay for this, but I mean, Are it's you? his choice, but, um, Ooh, I'm cause, cause he's like 58 dude. Yeah, I know. He's like a he's like almost a senior citizen. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the thing is, like, yeah, like he has videos, like little clips of him training and stuff, like him hitting the pads, him hitting like mitts. Like, yeah, he looks fast, he looks strong, but 
that's compared to like you know for relative for, for, his for age, a normal person right he'll still beat the hell out of either of us exactly you know but, I mean? but also the thing is he had a fight a few years ago with the Roy jo- Jones Jr. I think. Mm-hmm. He, he if lost. you watch, like, yeah, yeah, he moves like he moves well. He has the power mm-hmm. and stuff. But you could tell like he's not the same young Mike Tyson. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And you put someone like Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul is probably heavier. Mm-hmm. Just by looking at Jake Paul, like he looks like he like probably walks like two ten, two fifteen or something. Mm-hmm. And like he's young. Mm-hmm. He's like 24, 25, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And he does have like dynamite in both hands. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Like I, I personally, I'm probably not gonna watch it. I bet you, you will. I, I probably will, but <laughs> there's no way you watch don't. it. I don't even like boxing like that. And I watched his last one. But the thing is, like, I, 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 I just, I just disagree with the whole bout in general because mm. I think it's if but Mike Tyson loses, it's gonna like it's gonna tarnish his legacy. You know what well, I mean? first of all, it's a Netflix uh, event. And they're like both live. getting paid out the ass either way. When Jake Paul first started boxing, he was like boxing a lot of these retired MMA fighters, not even boxers. Mm-hmm. I was kind of like, "Come on, bro! Like mm-hmm. these are all like like one of the one of the people that he fought had like a hip replacement surgery, and like you know what I mean? Like it was like come <laughs> putting on, a bro. bunch of geriatrics." <laughs> but the thing <laughs> is, like I, I, I have been wa- I have watched all of the Jake Paul fights, and he does take boxing seriously, from what I could tell. Mm-hmm. More power to him. Um, so, like, like, I respect, like, his boxing career. Like, he'd probably, he probably, he, not probably, he would knock me out, like, with one punch, probably. Same with you. Like, mm, uh, I mean, probably. But the thing is, it's I just don't want to see this Mike Tyson fight because it's I, I just don't want to see Iron Mike get knocked out. But you know what, me though? Me personally. Like, I'm not going to, listen, Iron Cause Mike. Because I, I, I feel like if it was a young Mike Tyson, like, of course not. But the thing is, like, he's 50. He's six. He's damn near 60. Mike Tyson will always be a legend. I grew up in the 90s, and of I course. remember seeing his fights incredible now he was a monster yep. like he literally like just if you got in the ring with him freak it was like nature. blackout he, he was he would just black out and just wail on you till you were like down and out it was simple and there's Tyson the whole famous chewing off or biting off the ear thing and all that Vander stuff Holyfield, yep. yeah and um listen you couldn't pay me enough money to get in the ring with him even now I mean, i'll get sure. brain damage for sure oh, man but i just and you know what? You, I'm a huge Mike Tyson fan. I just don't want to see anything that might, like, you know what I mean? Like, tarnish his leg- legacy or, you know, like, I, like, honestly, I just don't want to see Mike Tyson get knocked so out. So that's the thing. Honestly. I don't think either way he would ever get knocked out. I don't think. But. Never say never, bro. I, when you say tarnish his legacy, I don't think you can tarnish his legacy. He already has a legacy that's, you cannot touch it. He's one of the, the, the on, he's on the Mount Rushmore of boxing, along with what, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. No, but like Mike nowadays, Tyson. like like nowadays, like social media though, like you get knocked out, you become a meme. You know what I mean? Like there's um a UFC fighter that I really like. Mm-hmm. I still do like him, Tyron Woodley. He's not a part of the UFC yeah, anymore, I know that but guy. Yeah. he was welterweight champion. Um, he's like a total beast. He fought Jake Paul twice and he got knocked out in a second mm-hmm. fight, and he just became a straight up meme. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know that's true. It's, and I'm like, and I see the memes. I'm like, y'all need to put respect on his name because, like, if you ever met him in person, he would destroy they, you. You know what I mean? They wouldn't say a, they wouldn't say a damn thing. But I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, no tarnishing. I think his legacy will be set in stone. He's already lost in exhibition matches recently. Hopefully, both fighters come out of the fight safe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I just hope. Like, I just a person. I just, I just don't want to see Iron Mike go out. You know, like. Get knocked out is what I'm saying. The part of me is hoping that that monster will come out and that monster will kick his ass. I hope he does. I mean, if he does, that would be incredible. Anyway, yeah, so that's basically what's going on in the news today. All right, um, yeah, so today, we talked about We talked about, like a recap of today's episode, we talked about why we took such a long break. Mm-hmm. Um, we did the viral videos. Yeah, we did the viral videos. We did, uh, you know, influencers asking for free food uh, and also bullying. Touched on that. Yes. And for the news, Mike Tyson. Mike big, Tyson. Big talking point today. Free the peach. Free the peach. Bums on the beach. Yeah, bums on the beach. And what else did we talk about? <laughs> uh, yeah, and we also talked about the Korean entertainment industry. Right. Getting, yeah. Getting turned out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think we're probably going to keep the Korean Cowboys on this format. Mm-hmm. For the time being, see how you guys like it. Yeah. See how it is received by our viewers. A lot of fun to talk. I'm going to tell you this. I have not, not, I have never been so exhausted talking for the last hour that I have ever been with the <laughs> doing this show. Honestly, I'm really tired. But, uh, but yeah. It's fun. No, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll definitely see you guys next week for another episode.
All right, guys. So that brings uh, today's episode to an end. We will see you guys next week. Should we do our old uh, sign off just for just for old times, sake. For old times sake? <laughs> All right, let's do it. I mean, it's part of the show. You know, can't yeah, ignore yeah, it. it. History. Yeah, right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeehaw! See you guys next Peace week. Peace out. A town down. Dun 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 dun. <laughs>